Hi, I'm Jessica. Hi, I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of Tomes. Tomes. Today we're going to do the Double Trouble book tag. We were tagged by the original creators, Becca and Mike, over at Books and Looks. And we will link that video below. They're a really cute booktube couple. And we really enjoy the tag that they made. And um, it was really sweet, too. I was like, you it guys. It was. Stop it. It was. They're so cute. You guys. So, we'll link it down below. Stop it. <laughs> so, this tag being called Double Trouble, what more Double Trouble is there than these two ladies? Huh? <laughs> you know? So, we got our uh, Wine Not yeah. t-shirt. Sadly, we don't have wine, though. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. We should have thought that through. That was an yeah. oversight on yeah. our part. That was a sad situation. We, were, we did drink <laughs> some tea, though. We did earlier. So, it's gone now. It, I still have some. You can have some more of mine if you want. I can pretend I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Just so we can match, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. To you, my good lady. Oh, thank you. Darling, girl! <laughs> I was going to get some sugar at the bottom, but... I'm sorry. Whatever. Okay, so anyway... We'll jump into the questions. You start. Okay. Question one. Mm -hmm. How slash where did you meet? If through YouTube, how did you find each other's channel? Obviously, I think we've talked about this before. We uh, were in kindergarten together. Yeah. Miss Poland. Yeah. You like Miss Poland? She was... I didn't care one way or another for her. Oh. Um, I thought she was kind of mean, and I wish I had another kindergarten teacher. Ooh, yikes. I remember cutting my finger really bad in her. Yeah, she was kind of strict. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Mm-hmm. She always wore her hair in a bun and she had glasses. Yeah. And I was, she looked very... Um, Rigid. 1950s. Scary. I forgot about her. Yeah. She's probably passed away now, though. She was she was up there when we had her. Yeah. She was so, an old lady. I know that she taught for, like, years after yeah, that, too. Yeah, like she had my uncle. And yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. So, yeah, we met, met in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. And... We were kind of friends in elementary school. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought you were super cool. I thought you were cool. Thank you. <laughs> and we became um, really good friends. Eventually. The past few years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When she was friends with my um, sister-in-law. Yeah. And then we kind of reconnected through that channel. And so now we're like... The bestest of friends. The bestest. She's the best, best friend I've ever had. She is the best, best, best friend I've ever had. I want to empty on that. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. What was the first book you read together, or would you ever buddy read? Duh! Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so the first one that I can recall is Bird Box. I was going to say, I remember the first one we read for, it had to be for book club. Yeah. It was Gone Girl, but I didn't reread it for a book club. No. And so I couldn't remember. It was your suggestion, you didn't reread it. I don't know. Um, I couldn't remember the one that was after that, though. Bird Box was our very first review and discussion on our channel. We, oh yeah. Yeah. We did. I'm not going to link it. <laughs> it's, if you really want to watch it, you can just search through our videos. It's <laughs> Go all the way to the bottom. Look at our terrible quality and terrible lighting <laughs> and the awkwardness yeah. that we were. That it's like are. so long too. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. Ow. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so Bird Box. It was really good. Yeah, I, you know, I was... This is when we differ on a little bit? Yeah, because I thought this you was great. loved it. Yeah. And I was like, I enjoyed it, but eh. but the more, like... You talked about it? The more I talk about it and think about like, it later, mm -hmm. I'm like, I like it more, you know? Yeah. I really like this upon reading it, and yeah. I was actually really scared. I was... I was not. I was scared. That much. And uh, I remember having, like, visceral reactions at the end when she's like... I'm not going to say, but it's so good. Yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. This is your book. Good. Okay, number three. Was there a book you bonded over? Yes. And I would say, for in, in my opinion, for me, it was... Do you have it? You have it. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Mm -hmm. I don't think... We didn't read it at the same time. No. I borrowed it from you, and then I ended up buying it yes. because it was so good. Yeah. And I remember, like, us talking about it in the review and the discussion for it. Uh -huh. We were so, like, oh, my gosh. I would say that one or The Night Circus. Oh, yeah. 
And we did um, a review discussion on this. That's my favorite review and discussion ever. We dressed up for it. It we was did. so. It was our it was second fun. ever review and discussion. Yeah. 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 Both of those to me are like when we both were like, <gasps> you know, we could fangirl out about it to each other, and that was cool. a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. These are good books. They really are. Okay. Number four. Uh -huh. Did you judge a book by its cover? What was your first impression of them slash their channel? Oh. My yeah. only first, and I know I've talked about this before, but my only first impression I remember of you was like, you had really long hair and you were really into Aerosmith. You know, like your bracelets and stuff. And I just thought you were the coolest. <laughs> the coolest. I was like, I like Aerosmith. Like, you were just so, like, nonchalant. Like, you didn't care what anybody thought, you know? And you were just like, I don't know. I, that's funny that you say that because I cared a lot about what people thought. <laughs> and <laughs> I got, I got, you were just, like, so relaxed and chill. But you were, like, so nice when people would talk to you. Mm. But you're, like, you're just so cool with your bracelets, you know, in, like, seventh grade. Yeah. And I was like, I want to be, like, that grudgy friend of hers. Like, yeah, that looks awesome. That's funny. That was seventh grade, right? Six, yeah. Sixth, seventh grade? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Um, I remember you playing flute. Oh, yeah, I did. And the piccolo. I did. And um, you were very, very short and small. You were a very yeah. compact person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very compact person. <laughs> I like that description. But also very, very nice. Aw, thank you. And um, I remember in high school being at the library and talking to you. Yeah. Um, just having a chat. And it. I remember you had, like, you had so many siblings. How many siblings do you have? Four? I, uh, no, I have one, two, three, <laughs> four, count. five, six, seven siblings. Holy crap. Are you counting step siblings? I'm, I'm counting my two step siblings. Okay, Without them, I have five, not counting myself. Okay. Um, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I'm an only child. <laughs> it's, it's so different. <laughs> so, um, that, I, I think I always was fascinated yeah. about that and wanted to learn more about you. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. And I wish that we had been closer friends when we I were young. I do, too. Young. I do, too. Yeah. Number four, right? Number five. Five. Name a book character that embodies them. A book character that embodies you. Yeah. See, I didn't really prepare for this one. Me neither. No, I think we've not. we've done this question. I a, feel like we have a long time ago, and we kind of fudged it too. We went with two people, and uh, well, I think Mike could fudge two people, and like they created it. So if he did it, I'm gonna do it. Christina is Nymphadora Tonks. Oh, you did say that on the others, and she's my favorite. I know. I was gonna say you're kind of like Lee. In, um, oh, Lee. East of Eden, because like you're just so nice and you're always there for people, Aww. you know. But like you don't have to like be in the forefront. You're just there when people come and need you, and mm -hmm. you're like excellent at giving advice and like straightening people out, you know. Aww. And you're always there. Thank you. And That's combine so that with like the sassiness, which I'm not doing this, but the sassiness and the ain't taking no s h i t ness <laughs> of Jane Eyre, who Aww. you know doesn't won't conform, you know, yes. and, like, you're big on, like, women can do just as much, you know, and things like that, and that's the vibe I'm getting from her right now, so, <laughs> okay. you know. That's yeah. so nice. Thank you. Number six, <laughs> what is one thing that you really like about one another? Uh-huh, I think we just Well, did. I think we just pretty much said it, yeah. <laughs> I love, well, I could tell you anything, and, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I feel, feel that like, way, too. I could be, like, my kids are me crazy right now, and I can't stand them, and she won't judge me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I like that. I could send you photos of my dirty house. Yes, that is my favorite thing. <laughs> I love it. We we use it as motivation. We do. Okay, so um, look at this kitchen table. It's horrible. And then we'll clean it, and then send it and like it after it. And yeah. I'm like, you you go, girl. Like yeah. you you clean that house. Yeah. Look at you housewiping so good. You know. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. Me too. I love that. Yeah. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. We're going to start doing that again. Okay, good. That's fun. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Mm -hmm. What is a book you have completely opposing opinions on? And again, the only two I could think of would be 
Bird Box by Josh Mallerman, mm. which we both enjoyed it. It's yeah. just that you enjoyed it more I, than I, I did. I really liked it. And or um, The Book Thief. Book Thief, I by Marcus Susan. didn't really like it all that much. I loved it. Yeah. So, I think that was the biggest one we had yeah. differences on. I think so. I think especially on The Book Thief. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Maybe. I was thinking too. Okay. Okay. Hey. Right. Number eight. Mm -hmm. If there was a book about them, what would it be titled? Oh. If there was a book about them, so maybe oh, like a like biography a or okay. something ish. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well, well, well. <laughs> Cause all right, you remember when we were talking about Zaxby's? Uh -huh. And you had got it in, like, the hottest flavor in the boneless wings. And I was like, can you handle it? And you were like, yeah, because I'm a grown-ass woman. Your book would be titled, Grown-Ass Woman. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to write an autobiography. And call it Grown-Ass Woman. Yes. If you mm. had an autobiography, what would you title it? I don't know. I know. It's hard to see. I don't know. Like, living life. <laughs> Just being me. Just being me. I like that one. You do? Yeah, I like that. Because I don't know. I don't I'm really... Yeah. Alright. Okay. Just being me. Just do, doing my thing. Just being me. Coming soon. <laughs> along with grown ass woman. <laughs> Nine. Yep. If you two were in a book together, what genre would it be? Sci-fi fantasy. Yeah. 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 Hands down. Right. I mean, I would I would want to be in, like, a fantasy book. Me too. Yeah. Cool. And then, like, we would be, like, badass women mm -hmm. who, like, go yeah. on, and complete our mission, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and uh, kick some ass and mm -hmm. take some names. We'd have, like, a baby on her back, like Sacagawea. <gasps> yes! And, like, a double sword. That's exactly what I was thinking of, uh, on horseback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is getting really out of control. I want a long braid, though. Ooh, yeah, you would look good in the long break. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Number ten, who would be the hero and who would be the villain in your book together? Um, well, I mean, if we have to be opposite. Yeah. I guess you're going to say think, that I'm the villain? No, I, I was going to say you would be the hero. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I was I, thinking I was more assertive, so the more assertive person would become the villain. Oh, I was thinking, like, you're so nice and helpful that you but would be But you're so hero. nice and helpful. Yeah, but I'm not that courageous. I think you're more courageous. So I don't that's know. What I think I would you're do, like, courageous. Thank you. I don't know. We're not doing it. We're both being heroes, okay? <laughs> or we can both be villains. Whatever it is, we're in it together. Yeah. Okay, so with it being um, a double trouble tag, we're going to tag the book brood that is Heidi and Erin um, because they're an awesome duo. Yeah. Couple on BT. And then Nicole. Nicole over at Who Picked This Book. Yeah, she, she does a lot of videos with her friend Jin Jin. And, and there was another friend that was on another time. From her book club. Yeah. yeah. So we would, I think this would be a great one for yeah. you guys to do together. And hear more about your, you how guys. you met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that would that'd be, be great. great. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. So we'll link both of their channels below. Indeed. Of course, and check them out, you know. Okay. I think that's it. Yep. When you play the game of tones, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Our social media links will be in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Christina's in a book. What book would she be in?